Wagwan people, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Rocky Marden, and I'm back with another excited educational video. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set multiple outputs for your drum in Studio One 4. So, let's get into this. All right, so we have Im impact here, right, and we have couple sample when we load on pan it right however if me fi um press all of the thing them so this are the kick this are me this is my um hi-hat then we have the clap and me have me the snare the snare right so me have four four sample in a um impact but more on them pan individual mixer track so me can actually manipulate it, add my compressor, add my EQ, me this and me that. Right? Because if me go add an EQ to this, it will affect the whole entire impact. Right? So everything when I take um affect. Me no want that. You can you know, but me no want that. However, when me a build reggae, me actually do that because me want a bus. So me want one thing in the whole bus. So me like a select like a preset, like a drum set preset. Where you just kind of tweak the low end and tweak the high end and tweak like the the, the, the thumbs and the, the snare. You just have a little um, preset. But we we'll get into that soon. However, when me I do dance all, to move on my kick and my snare and my hi hat and my clap on a different set of um, um, feeder track or mixer track, look what me do. Forget that. This little knob right here, I see, when me have over, it have two two dots. It means stereo. So right now the kick in a stereo mode. When kick fit in a mano. So if I press it right now, we can get the option to put it a mano. So I'm gonna um, create a mano track. So when we create a mano track, as you can see right now, you have it one mano track right now. So if I press this, you know, in a impact no more, but you have impact M2 then as well. And this are the kick. Right? You can see. The higher still in it, we can put that in a mono, in a mono track. You can choose to do mono or stereo, but we just put them in the mono track. This are the higher. We are do the clap same way. So I clap. Right? And then this is going to be with snare. Right? And this is with snare. Right? So we have, um, no, we have every drum or every sample on the mono thing. So we can do one a thing. So right? So and it's a good look. When you do this, you actually get more control. You actually can put on a compressor, you can put on an EQ without affecting the other instrument. So this is a way you can try. However, if you're gonna use like um if you're gonna use easy drummer now, I'm gonna show you if you use easy drummer. So easy drummer. So I'm loading easy drummer. Hope this video will detail. Explain it all. Cause we're not gonna really waste no time. We just wanna get the message across so you guys can understand it. Alright, so on big tracker come. So just a second. So I have to pause the video just now, people, <laughs> because to me live right at the roadside so on dirty truck a pass i'll be a nice so three truck a pass three trucks right and tread them the day any one another one a blow the hand the next two no half a blow the hand in the but them still a blow the hand if you make up nice in the neighborhood all right mega black the road yeah man so back to this all right may i say now if you use um easy drummer like me when me i do reggae so this is the method where you're gonna use if you use like a a, a one drop drummer like this we have everything in one all right so if we go to the mixer you know um easy drummer we are going to actually get to a module one drum module that means say uh, the drums stu um easy drummer drums they are very perfect are somewhat to be perfect so them come well mixed well organized and perfect then all right you don't need to trouble it however say you don't like how the kicks on are you not like the delay there? Are you not like the reverb or them add to it? Are you not like the mic bleed or etc. etc. And you want to remove that? You can. But it only work with this method. What I'm going to show you. Alright, so 
um as you can see everything rolled to the same mixer so everything i got in at the one thing which is um this so if i press this you have everything in at the same thing everything just in at the same bus or the same mixer feeder but see you know one that see you want everything on him own thing but i don't know how to do it all i have to do you just go to the first track which is the kick you press the one and you put multiple channel when you do that now everything i go separate right just like when you're in an fl studio i press the routing to 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 mixer you have everything row to them individual mixer right track so just like this i said work right but you're not done yet you know because if we go right there so i press it i just one alone i go play and none else not go play but i want it to be separate from everything else so what i go do i come an easy drummer in the instrument tab under the mixer and you can see we can expand it right or you can drop press the drop down menu and the drop down and then all you have to do i highlight the, the track the the drum them what you want to put on and then you can play everything now i go come on the mona thing right just like that easy easy and if you want back the reverb and then delay just highlight back everything and you get back the same effect but you don't know say to come on a different everything are the them mona um track you can manipulate it you can turn down say if me not like that reverb you can turn it down if i'm right here so we can um add a compressor you can add whatever you want so these are easy way you can do if you manipulate your tracks all by yourself you don't need to all over the place and get confused in a studio one studio one is a very very easy software it's very easy to use you don't need to stress yourself when you come to using it and say you can't do it because it's very easy to use so for more information and you want to learn some more all you have to do is subscribe to the channel yeah? if you're new don't forget to subscribe like comment and share all right and if you want to see other videos just stick around other videos are coming just like this um we learn from teach you something about studio one can be anything it can be about a piano it can be about um um jump step sequencer and which me i go do because me realize a lot of persons don't really know about that and they have a problem with that when it come to studio one me, me i go show you because i'm a master of this i'm going to teach you how to get it done the right way anyway i'm a boy rocky Martin. And thank you for watching and I'm out. Peace.